Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Captain of Industry. I'm Seventh Dust Bunny, and today, as often is the case when um, I'm less than confident about my next forward move, I am thinking of um, changing something else. So, um, this whole potato scenario going on here. This is going to change, I have decided. Um, so, what's essentially going to happen, and I might just pause a second with this, is that um, I'm going to just briefly um, break this conveyor here and this conveyor here is going away and this sorter will be going away and probably this squiggle and at least that squiggle and then hopefully I can reverse the direction of that conveyor in a minute um, and what's gonna happen is that this one is going to start making soybeans instead of maize and then when um, it comes over here it'll all go around this way um, and I think we're probably going to end up switching both the maize to soybean um, because otherwise I'm going to have to put in another filter system here somewhere for getting the maze out. Um, I might yet in get, put a filter in here and then pop the maze across over there, um, which will involve putting that sort of back in, but I need to figure out how I'm going to do that first. Um, I am tempted to keep the maze because we do seem to be consuming it. Um, I think we have a couple of places where there is maize here and uh, it's not getting it's not like super popular but um, it is getting consumed so for now I'll, I will go for just one soy there um, I mean this one is making maize as well and these are also making maize, but most of that is going to animal feed. So at the moment, this one is the only one going to that production. So yeah, no, I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of this maize. Harvest in 2.8 months. So how long does maize take to produce generally? It says, can't tell. So maize takes four months, so we're not going to have lost that much. So I'm going to switch that to soy as well, which is going to screw things up a bit. And then basically we're just going to run it straight through with soy through here. And we should be able to say go now. Um, because this belt, we're going to have to say get rid of that. At the moment, I'm just going to, I've left that one there that holds potatoes just to sort of stockpile now if later we start running low on potatoes we'll be able to sort all that out but um we'll get that done at the same time you'll notice some trucks and stuff have disappeared here um i'm waiting for some big excavators and trucks to be made i have some going on here um i should have made a big tree chopper somewhere so he should be in operation somewhere. Um, I don't know where he is. He might be up here chopping trees. Um, ah, there we go. He needs a couple of trucks assigned to him. Um, what actually I'll probably do is assign a big truck to him. Maybe two. I should have some big trucks being made as well. So I sent a whole bunch of other trucks small ones to be disassembled and I swapped in a whole stack of glass 
So that should boost this up and get more dirt on the go in a minute when we need it. Um, and also hopefully have some more wood on the go in not too long as this should be a big a big boost in wood chopping. The bad news being that I'm still running out of trees and I'll have to put in a tree planter and figure out how to do all of that in the not too distant future. We finally have enough staff so that's also good news. Um, I don't know why this belt isn't clearing. Um, doesn't make a vast amount of sense to me. I think this is trying to empty out all the potatoes and probably all the maize from there. So I need to kind of get all that sorted out. It's got to all be collected and then all of a sudden it's going to act, it's all going to start pumping out again. And then, yeah, it says not connected, you see. And that's not going to work, so. Uh. So what we're going to have to do. Oh, that doesn't work like that, clearly. Um, yes, just get rid of that yes thank you and some will that start sending potatoes down or anything no maybe possibly uh, send all the potatoes send all the things apparently not um, which is a tad unfortunate swap the direction of that which I thought I could do which is nicer than taking it apart so then we U-shape conveyor through here with this one connecting in. Beautiful. And yeah, I don't know why this isn't going to work. And so what I need to do is have this one exporting by truck for now I think I think that's going to be the way to go get that one exporting by truck and see if we can do it that way then at least we can get all of these materials out of there and connect this back up Come on, and to there. Because my thing is, is in a minute, yeah, this is going to start chucking potatoes out on mass, which is going to really be a pain in the ass. Because I don't want potatoes on this belt. So that will then send soy down to here, which should up the amount of soy we're getting, which would mean we can actually keep some tofu in stock. Um, which I think will help. I mean, we are producing unity, but um, I think we need to boost up the amount of soy we're producing in order to do that. And I'm not quite ready to stick another farm in at the moment. Um, plus, I'm actually topped out on just about every other food source. So that's kind of dandy. Right, we'll pop the speed up now. That should be fine. We should now be able to... Have we got any of the big excavators? No. Now put one of the other big trucks on this job. This one now has no trees to deal with. Um, and to start stripping back this area. I think I'm going to want more of this area. I wouldn't mind stripping back this area either, but I do want to strip this too. So we're going to strip, start off saying, all right, we're going to strip back this area in its entirety and this area. Now, hopefully that will help things out. Um, I might end up, in fact, let's, um, 
where's the are you the original woodcutter you're the little wood are you the big woodcutter or the little woodcutter you are large tree harvester where is my echo tree harvester you sir we will send you back to be got rid of and we'll put another large tree harvester in the list and we'll put another one two three four five or five of the big trucks in and we'll randomly find a bunch of little trucks to get rid of in a minute somewhere um right have we got a large one no not available yet but we want to send a bunch of these in to be recycled and as is we're doing all right with just sending them around vaguely when I spot them over in a dumping zone or something like that like these guys these you can be recycled and you can be recycled there we go helps get rid of some and are you ready to deliver the goods compactor so what, what does the compactor do I don't actually know what the compactor does compactor where are you? Uh, there, you shredder compactor. So what what does the compactor do? The compactor takes iron and makes pressed cop pressed copper scrap. Is that some way more useful than just shipping it across as is? It, so it takes seventy two and makes twenty four. Of those so to some extent yes it appears to take the load off off for example this shipping route can this but this can't take pressed copper scrap so to me that doesn't seem useful at this time so may, maybe maybe later as is, recycling is working well enough. Um, apart from the fact we're not actually making gold or glass yet, um, which kind of sucks, but there you go. Um, we're not producing a vast amount of wood chips, which is a little bit upsetting, but we have got shitloads of science going on. Um, so that should be fine. Right is tofu towers now sorted it appears to be and this line is actually empty which is probably good um i mean we'll see how this goes and i mean because this is obviously this one i'm gonna put as make sure it keeps like there and then this one is fine so it can, stuff can be dropped across if it needs to I'm not sure if we actually can drop it across but we'll see about that when that happens but as is that's coming across potatoes as and when needed at the moment we're not getting through vegetables as fast as I thought but I think we will see that go up over time, um, especially as I will chuck down one more housing this time around. How are we doing on the water? Water is good. So this has not fleshed out yet, but it's almost there. This one, now we can put the large in and I got rid of one of the miners from there, so the other big miner is going on the on the coal in order to boost that up. Coal we don't appear to be particularly short of now, nor are we particularly short on iron, it seems. That seems to all be going very well. But you notice, look, here, 
where it's not stone, this is what I was talking about, where it's not actually stone, like here, stone, it's very steep. Here, where you've got dirt, it's much wider, splays out much wider. Um, so there's definitely different slumpage rates based on what the material is, um, which I find quite interesting. And definitely something that we need to watch out for. Because it could give us problems in the future. I really want this to be finished. Okay, I'm going to try and look at what our, what I feel like our next move is. And um, so in the short term, I decided um, one thing I wanted to do was start. Um, this is going to be wood again. I moved that over. It was only a level one storage. So it didn't cost me much to get rid of. Um, but this is going to be concrete slab, which I'm going to say is going to be kept full relatively high. And in here, we're going to put a conveyor sorter, um, or balance balancer, flat balancer. There we go. Um, cause I've got rid of the brick storage here. There is already a brick storage down here, so I figure that will be plenty um, if things start to back up. But I will give bricks the priority anyway. Um, so, for example, this will be priority input. This will be secondary input. So this one's going to be priority in. That's going to be the only out. Um, both of those I would like to quick deliver with unity, please. Um, and both of these are then going to, yep, yeah, they already do. And we will upgrade both of these as well. And this will hopefully see this continue much more quickly into making these components as is, um, I almost feel like, yeah, look, this is going too slow. So this here, I actually want to upgrade to conveyor level two, um, at least into that sorter. Oh God. Um, I don't quite know how, how it works. Now I was told the sorters can go as fast as we need them to go. Quick deliver, please. Um, so I'm assuming if this is going fast like that, there we go. These are it's spitting out faster, but it almost seems like it's backing up. You see, um, possibly because these belts can't shift it out fast enough. So I'll at least upgrade that belt so it becomes faster to spit that out, which means this will work faster going into the level two components which then go over here and over to make our level threes, which we're starting to get through at a reasonable number. Now, what is going on over here? Why do we have no iron? Because you're running on scrap iron. Oh, really? I didn't realize these were running on scrap iron. Um, that would be why Um, ooh, ooh, uh, I need to have a look at how I'm going to do that because at present that is subpar. I mean, this could run on both, I guess, as could this one. Um, and I'll put another pair next to it and make those iron iron which might be why we weren't seeing as much iron draw as I was expecting there to be. That kind of stands to reason right there. So you are going to have nothing. You are going to have in only good, good, good. And then here we'll put another U-shaped con conveyor into no, you're going to have to ignore that one and then go for into there. So can you ignore that one? And then I'd like you to not ignore and do that one. How's that? 
Now this will take ore. Iron ore. And we're going to tell this to keep this re reasonably full. And that should give a whole bunch of these somewhere to go. Very quickly, no? No, why, why, why aren't you going? You should be going. This should want to, to, you should want to deliver iron ore right here. I mean, hopefully that will start clearing some of these wagons. Now, what do we got here? Are we still making? What are you waiting for? You are waiting for these materials. We have glass. What don't you have here? You don't have level one components. So what are our level one components missing? Electronics. Okay. And the electronics are coming from, oh God, it's so convoluted here. Um, you're making mechanical parts. Hang on. You're making mechanical parts. Electronics, where are the electronics coming from? Why don't you have ele Has this never been working? You can't tell me this has never been working. Look, there's stuff on the belt. You're telling me electronics have been being delivered here by machine all the time? I, I just don't believe it. There's electronics here. Um, so these and these electronics are coming up here. Have I screwed something up a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away and then never figured out that I did it? Okay, so let's bring you can come up here, yeah, and around to there, like so. Please do that. And then why not upgrade you to assembly level two? So what we got? Pickup cannot reach destination. Uh, yeah, because your destination is over he over here, which is indeed a problem. Um, I don't have a simple answer for you. Um, I'll be honest. Uh, You know what? Uh, my simple answer is not simple. <laughs> um, crap. Uh, I would like to go up. Oh no, this isn't going to work very well. Um, 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 I mean, you could go to there, across, and then I want to go down. At least you can still get a truck through there, right? I want to be able to get a truck through. But I, uh, there is no way I am getting it across into that gap. Uh, um, how do I deal with this? Okay, I have a new plan. Let's try that again. Alright, this one it's gonna go up, up, um, or just up the once. No, up once through to here. Yeah, where here it's going to go up again. I know that's going to seem convoluted, but I'm doing it so you can still get a big truck through there, which I think will work if we we should be able to pull it over to here and say go down and over here and then 
quite how we get it from here. Down to... I mean, that is not pretty. That will, that's as pretty as it's going to get. And you are then going to go into there. There you go, like that. That, that is so pretty. It is not spaghetti in the slightest. Everything is beautiful about this. Um, and then you're not going to take any deliveries, no. And you're going to unload back into there. And all that's going to pour in as additional. I can't fit a sorter in there, so it is what it is. It looks like we're not producing quite enough potatoes, but we'll have to have a look at that. How are we doing on tofu? At least we actually have some tofu in the supply range, which is excellent. What are you doing? Cannot reach valid iron destination. Where are you trying to deliver your iron to? Right, so basically none of these should be receiving goods. Okay, none of them. Where are you trying to go? Right, mine control tower has no designations to be mined. That's fine. That is actually absolutely fine. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Now, from that, I want to get rid of this thing, and then I want all of this mined out flat. Like, all of it. Absolutely every last piece. And I know this a bunch of this is outside the designation of this tower at the moment. But that's fine. We will change that. There you go. Go do that. Now this might hit our limestone supplies a bit. Um, and that's fine because what I'll probably end up doing is build another large excavator. As well as have those trucks and put that on limestone duty. Yeah, because limestone is now dropping off, especially as we're using more limestone as we're taking some over here to keep all this running. This is now actually running nicely. Good. Don't Still don't know where this one's going. Just go. Forget it. Um, I don't know where you're dropping stuff off at the moment. But wherever it is, you shouldn't be dropping stuff off there. Um, yeah, I don't know where, the, where it's dropping stuff off. So I'm just going to change those to try and make sure it doesn't have that issue. So this still does not seem to be receiving. I mean, we, we've got... I mean, we've still got some steel plate there, but what's going on here? These trucks, why can't you deliver to here? You should be delivering to here, yeah? Um, move them up on priority slightly? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be... Um, I don't understand why you're not, um, why are you not delivering to there? I mean, this keeps saying, right, so it, uh, it's trying to get to a dumping zone that isn't, doesn't exist or that not that doesn't exist. It can't get to it. So. It's saying it can't get to that dumping zone. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of that dumping zone right there. And in fact, I'll just leave that like that. And hopefully can 
you um, sort yourselves out. Well, your cargo is is iron. So where are you trying to go? Pickup cannot deliver or to valid destination. Why not? What's wrong with here? Why are you not delivering to here? I don't, I don't understand. Why is this not a valid destination? That's what I want to know. This is connected, right? Iron ore. Priority one. I'm just going to priority one it for a bit. I want to see iron ore go there. What is going on? Large tree harvester has no truck. Okay, fair enough. Um, yes, you can have a couple of trucks. That should be fine. Go for it. Farm could not dispatch all of its vegetables. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. But hopefully that will go down as demand for vegetables increases. So what is going on here? Because the truck should be able to drive around one way or another to get to this. I don't understand why they're not delivering to it. Ah, is that because I need to... Hang on. I've, I've assigned the logistics. <laughs> That's what I've done wrong. Right, I'm learning. I might cut some of me figuring that out. <laughs> out, because that took a long time. Okay. Maintenance depot needs output to recyclables times two. Maintenance depot. Okay. Maintenance depot needs a transport output recyclables. But it doesn't say it's making recyclables. Does it? It doesn't say it's... So what, if I put auto, does that solve the problem? So that a truck can get in there and take that? I mean, is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't under... Again, I... This is maintenance depot, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong bloody thing. That is off. This is maintenance depot. Needs output for recyclables. Okay. And at the moment, technically needs input for electronics, but electronics are already going in. So, you need an output for recyclables. Um, yeah. Not quite sure how that's going to happen. Um, if I'm honest with you guys. So that it, yeah, that's holding you up because ah, because I've taken the truck collections from you off. So if I, if I ooh, wrong one, if I turn the truck collections back on, you can then take the recyclables. Not a problem. I understand my mistake. So you're full of wood, and you're telling me this is full of wood? No, it is not. Go and fill it up. So why are you not going to fill it up? Because that's full of wood as well. I mean, we are at least producing more wood. We're clearing wood like you wouldn't bloody believe. And science is doing its thing. I mean, I don't know how you get science to work any faster than it already is. I mean, we've already got 83 workers available. So again now I really need to work out what my next step is I'm not I don't seem to have a demand for the next step I mean this is now working doing its thing I mean my next step really is I want more fertilizer because my actual target is way up at 140 which i think i should put down to 120 
on these because someone was saying 120 seems about right. But, as you will already note, despite the fact I have 120, I do not have sufficient fertilizer to achieve this. I mean, this has fertilizers, this has fertilizers, and we have a very small stock. Um, this one also has fertilizers, so I'm probably going to take that one down to, I'll put that one at 100. Um, because, yeah, we, we've got a small stock. Things are working, but we've not got massive amounts. Um, if we had lots, I would worry about it. But the next thing we really need to be looking at here is in order to get this to work, we need more um, hydrogen, I think it is. Because one of these, it, I'm sure it was this one. This creates fertilizer one, but and we're not, we haven't got enough fertilizer one, but we need um, ammonia to do it. But to make ammonia, at the moment we're actually getting ammonia out of clearing our cleaning our sour water but i believe we could make ammonia on the science side here um so that was turn ammonia into hydrogen but we actually want to go the other way around we want to split water and turn that into oxygen hydrogen which i'm not sure if we would we wouldn't do that there but I'd probably get rid of that at that point and change that into the other one because we're going to have the oxygen anyway and we can vent off excess oxygen. A little wasteful, but nevertheless. Um, but I don't think we're there yet. So what are we actually working on at the moment? Fermentation. Fermentation makes ethanol i mean this actually seems fairly use useless to me chicken farms seems useful chicken farms i see the need people are talking about protein and needing that and the tofu is protein that is excellent so i'm keeping that in the list power generation two yes but i'm going to take it off the list for now vehicle management too. Going to take that off the list too. Not struggling at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, seawater pump. Is this like seawater pump mark two? Thermal desalination, seawater pump. I thought we already had seawater pumps. So, again, what do we need? Salt. First of all, we want salt production. So, and naphtha all of this seems less important to me so at the moment I'm gonna take all this off and I'm gonna say all right Q wise I want fermentation salt production and then I want electrolysis then I'm gonna ask for chicken farms then I'm gonna ask for thermal desalination and power generation storage and upgrades to my ship like engine 2 and where's the bloody fuel tank and weapons 3 I mean this seems all pointless to some extent because I've already beaten everything on the map all I need is more range um, so I'll do that temporarily, but actually I don't think I'm going to bother. Rotary kilns, this is to do with cement and is a, effectively possibly a more efficient way to make cement. So that we could go with. Okay. 
I realise this has been quite a talky, not a lot of Dewey episode. Um, and I understand that. But sometimes these things happen. I suspect we'll be getting back to things. I will do a bit of examination in between episodes and decide where we where some of my science tree queue is going to next. We have resolved a lot of minor issues, i.e. like here, and things are moving forward. And I suspect here we're going to be bringing some more bits in. I need to probably bring some more glass in. I think that's probably the issue. No, I still have quite a bit of glass, but I'm not producing any of these. Why I don't have steel plate? Is that not steel plate? Oh God. So the problem is this has, this requires steel plate and I've had iron plate going to it. So that is incorrect. I see. Right, so I'm going to fix that, get that running, which is why my vehicle upgrades aren't going. And then next time, we will have, hopefully, a sensible plan of how we move forward into new things in a sensible way. But I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time when hopefully I'll, ha I'll have a nice little plan of where we're going to. Thanks a lot.